Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Now a lot of the LiDAR users are making great images of uh, architectural renderings and so on. Um, and if you're going to look a little bit into furniture, nothing says man like a huge Chesterfield couch. I'm not going to model an entire couch today, but I'm going to give you an idea on how you can model this kind of upholstery here uh, in 3D. So I'm going to minimize this and uh, I'm not going to look so much at the measurements right now because that can be rescaled when the pattern is done but what we're going to do here is to make the pattern itself. So I'm going to start up by making a box here. I'll just place it like this and I could face it uh, upright and so on, but it doesn't really matter at the, this time. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to hit the uh, bevel, extend bevel here, and I'm going to bevel a bit here and I'm going to bevel again and bevel again and bevel again like this. And I'm going to delete the bottom polygon here like this so I have have this shape here I'm then going to knife this or first I'll center it to be sure it's center and then I'll knife it here and I'll knife it here I'll just split this to wireframe so we can see what we're doing over here and then I'm going to need a part of this, so I'm going to take this, copy it, paste it to a new layer, select background and I'm going to move this up in this corner and I'm then going to mirror this around to get the start of the ground pattern here, so copy this, cut it and paste it back over here. I'm then going to select edges and I'm going to extend by the E key and drag this out to here and I'm going to do the same up here extend extend and extend out here so I got this pattern here. I'm then of course going to tweak this a little bit around but of course you, the more you tweak it the better result you get. But currently this is what we have. I'm gonna hit M for merge to join the points and I'm going to shape this in the center here to be a little more roundish. Oops, I had some other points selected. Let's just deselect those. And there we go again. Now, I'm then going to use a part of this again to clone around, but uh, I need then to first fix this here. So, um, so as you notice down here, I curved these but up here they are not curved so I'm going to use this area here to clone up here so I can take a part of this so I'm going to take this, copy it new layer and I'm going to rotate this up here and in this layer I'll kill the old one and copy the new one in and be sure to merge so now this and this is equal so I can kill all this here and here 
So now I need to make the sewings here. So first I'll take this point here and I lift this up a bit to get the curve here. And I'm going to select the edge here and I am going to edge bevel this. And now you might get an error. You see up here something weird is happening. And I'm not sure why this is going on in LineWave, but it seems when it's 2D pattern to 2D pattern, it seems like this is going to happen sometimes. I'm then going to try a little fix here. I'm going to extrude this down. And I'm going to select the entire way around this instead and also on the inside here. And this is just to get rid of this error. I'm not sure if uh, the error is uh, present in LightRef 11, but I'm using LightRef 10.1, so you will have to check that out. Edge bevel, and you see now, no problem. I'll make it a little bit thinner here. And press OK, and I can then kill all these polygons again. And I got this pattern here. I can then start to mirror out this pattern again. And we are now starting to go somewhere. I will select the polygons here. So we can start make the lines like this and I just need the last part here there we go and I will then use um, multi-shift here. Let me zoom in so you can see. And I will rise this a bit. And I'll right click once to create a new multi-shift. And I will rise this again and I will drag it a little bit together. So we get such a bulk here. And I then need to rise these edges here, so I'll select here, here, and here, and I will rise this up. And I need to rise these up as well. So we get a nice curvature here. That's about it. And if I hit the tab key now for sub patching, you will see I get a pretty nice pattern here. You could tweak this to get a little bit further up here to get it really bulgy. Like this. And we can adjust a bit here by scaling this out a bit. And then I'll try to clone this. I will mirror this, mirror this. And I will mirror it up. You could, of course, also 
clone it about if you like. I'm just using a mirror right now. And I'll merge 280 points. And if I sub patch now, you see I have a really nice pattern here going on. It seems somehow out here I have a little bit of a problem. It could be I have something covered twice, but that might be a little mistake. So I might need to fix that. You see the pattern looks a little different here. I'll just kill this line out here. Selecting polygons and remove this and remove this. It could be due to if I have two copies on top of each other, so now you see we got the perfect pattern. And it looks really nice. You could then of course uh, clone this out a bit further. I'll just give an example here. I'll mirror this out here. Like this. And I could then start selecting the bend tool here and I could drag a marker here with the right mouse and I could go down here and I could bend down the top like you see here very nice and you could again use the bend key here to drag out here and you might need to drag this up a bit to get the right curvature oops I just hit the wrong key I'll just move it just around here and I will try to bend it here and let's let's just flip this up a bit uh, to get it the right way and I could take this here copy paste rotate and I have another copy now let's just Go up here, and I could try to join these here. Something like this. Now they are not totally perfect straight here, but I am only human, so let's try merge and say perhaps one millimeter, that's not enough. We'll stretch this a little closer. Again, it's a little bit with a size factor here, but again, some of this has started to merge together. Some of these should perhaps be have been aligned a little bit better, but again, let's say like this, 
that's about it, we only miss this, I'll weld this, and as you see now, I got a nice round corner here, and it's working very well. Of course you should have uh, modeled some buttons here to place in the holes and so on, and then could, they could have been following the bend around. But uh, I hope this gives you an idea, nice idea how to model this Chesterfield pattern and uh, take some good use of it. So, have fun and stay tuned.